Hey friends, so I am Dipali Goyal and uh, I secured All India Rank 8 in IES 2017. I am from Electronics and Telecommunication background. And friends, in this video, we will be discussing the most commonly asked doubts by the students who are going to face the mains exam in July. And uh, friends, I hope these questions will include your doubts also. And uh, in case your queries are not discussed, then you can write in the comment section below. So friends, let's start with the first question. Well friends, in paper 1, I got 181 marks out of 300 and in paper 2, I got 241 marks out of 300. So actually friends, after my mains exam, I was very much afraid because I have attempted a total of 440 marks only and which uh, which is really less and uh, in the test series what I found is that uh, the marks I have achieved is uh, generally around 60 to 70 mark percent of marks that I have attempted so in the similar way when I did the calculation of 60 to 70 percent of 440 then the marks that I was expecting was really less but uh, one thing that was in my favor is that uh, I have attempted mostly numerical questions instead of attempting the theory part. So in that way, I was able to achieve the 96% of the marks that I have attempted and uh, yes, which goes in my favor. So that's how I have managed uh, to achieve 422 marks out of 440 marks which I have attempted. Well, uh, friends, grammar doesn't matter because um, you don't have like uh, any essay writing or any paragraph writing questions. So no, grammar doesn't matter in technical subjects. And handwriting matters because the examiner who is going to check your answer should be able to get what you have written. So yes, handwriting matters. So friends, my BTEC college is uh, JCRC College, Jaipur. My percentage is 79% and year of passing is 2016. Well friends, I started my preparations after the prelims result. So friends, uh, the sequence of subjects that I followed was same um, that was uh, taught in the Medizi classroom. So I have followed the same sequence for my preparation as well. Uh, the most difficult subject was computer organization for me uh, because uh, that is a subject which we did not study in our BTEC also. So yes, uh, that was the most difficult subject for me. And uh, for that subject, I did the questions of the test series as many number of times as I can. I have revised my notes well and uh, I have referred two standard books. Uh, the one was the Computer Architecture by Maurice Mano and uh, the second was the DBMS by Koth. So these two books uh, I have referred for the selective topics. So in this way, I did my preparation for the computer organization. So friends, no, I don't want to take this risk of leaving any subject. So I have studied every subject as much as I can because this is the chance in which I can do my best and I want to do my best in this chance only. So I did not, uh, I don't want to leave any loopholes. So that's why I try to cover every subject as much as I can. So friends, uh, for every subject, I have used at least one to two reference books because uh, reference books gives you an insight of uh, your answer writing method and uh, for any type of questions, how to start your answer and what should be there. 
like in the answer but other parts that are to be included then everything so by using the reference book especially the solved example will give you a proper method of writing the answer so yes friends i have joined the test series of made easy and uh, uh, the first test uh, of uh, the test series was in the march first week and yes it was really helpful to me so friends uh, qcab is the newly introduced pattern by the upsc in ies last year so it is actually a question come answer booklet in which uh, the space will be provided to you for every question and uh, according to the space and marks you have to decide your answer and uh, if you have to write the same question answer for 10 and 20 marks then friends uh, it is on to you like uh, how you have decided to frame your answer and the most important points have to be included uh, for every marks like whether it is asked for 12 marks 10 marks or 20 marks that points should be there and uh, yes you can skip some less relevant points to that topic if it is asked for less marks and yes friends uh, it also depends on the space available to you and time uh, you have decided for that question so in that way you can decide which points to write and uh, which points not to write like it is your decision that you have to make there and uh, for taking a good decision you have to appear in the test and uh, try to solve every question in the way you are going to solve in the exam so in this way uh, by practicing the answer writing you will get uh, your own way or your own style of framing the answer so friends uh, in the first test paper what i have found is that i was unable to even i was unable to attempt even the 50% of the paper and uh, because i was confused in what to write and what not to write like how to explain best so in these thoughts only my test time has passed and uh, in the second test paper i was stuck in using the pens because i have in the starting i have chosen four different pens like a uh, blue gel blue ball pen black gel and black ball pen so this was another mistake by me and from the third test paper i have already practiced enough uh, like uh, what uh, should be my answer for numerical questions and uh, how to start with and what should be my answer for the theory questions so i have already decided these type of questions in the meantime and yes uh, from the second paper onwards i have decided to use only blue bowl and black bowl pens so this is uh, how it has gone